This is your CBS 46 News update. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. Dozens of Georgians are getting ready to head into a busy weekend, but many pumps are still dry. According to Gas Buddy, an estimated 68% of gas stations in Atlanta have emptied out. Across Georgia, it's about 49% of gas stations, but things could be a lot worse. An estimated 87% of gas stations in Washington, D.C. have no gas. Chilling new 911 calls just released from a possible road rage shooting on I-20 in Atlanta. Man, my husband just got shot. We was on the expressway. People just started shooting at us. Ma'am, please. Ma'am, they keep telling us to hold on. Oh, he he died. died. You can hear a woman pleading for help after pulling over at a Burger King on Donald Lee Hollowell Parkway. Investigators say the man was shot in the stomach while driving on I-20 near I-285 this morning. The victim is expected to survive. Four others inside that car were not hurt. Right now, thousands of jobs in the Atlanta area waiting to be filled and by some big names. They're hoping you apply. Many of the jobs are in the restaurant industry, which lost nearly 6 million jobs at the beginning of the pandemic. We just spoke with the owner of 15 McDonald's restaurants in the Atlanta area, and he's hiring. I could hire 10 at each of my restaurants tomorrow, and I would be thrilled. I would be thrilled to have them. Other companies looking to hire include Cracker Barrel, Lowe's, and Chipotle. If you'd like more information on how to apply, head over to CBS46.com. We've got a great weekend ahead, and it all starts tonight. Beautiful conditions, a little warmer than it has been the past several nights, but still a little cool. Drop down to 54 degrees tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies, highs in the mid to upper 70s. It will be a beautiful Saturday, even warmer on Sunday. We'll get up to 80 degrees and overall great weather all weekend. Go outside, enjoy. Just don't forget the sunscreen. It will be sunny, especially on Saturday. Very low rain chances this week. Only a 20% chance of rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.